A recent study conducted by Cornell University School of Medicine reveals the benefits of aquatic exercise for arthritis patients, particularly those over 60, as it alleviates joint pain and stiffness due to the buoyancy of water. 미국 코넬 대학교 의대는 최근 실시한 연구를 통해 물속에서 하는 수중 운동이 60세 이상의 관절염 환자들에게 도움이 된다고 발표했습니다. 이는 물의 부력이 관절의 통증과 뻣뻣함을 완화하기 때문인 것으로 알려졌습니다. Right. Tell us about this research. Well, the study basically it highlights the benefits of water resistance mm. and improving muscle strength and endurance and other big things, especially for older people and people with arthritis, is that it reduces inflammation yeah. and it improves just overall well-being. So the participants in this in this survey they engaged in many. Aquatic exercises or aquatic activities. Mm. Mostly, we think when you th- when you see aquatic, you know it's going to be water, yeah. right? Like aquatic animals. For, Aqua, for, anything. Yeah. Aquaman. Yeah, it's right. Exactly. <laughs> anything. Aqua, aquatic. Mm. We know it means yeah. water. Mm. So I always, I right away, I think, oh, swimming. Yeah. Right. But yeah. there's more than just swimming. Walking. As well. Walking. Yeah. Uh, water aerobics. Mm. Uh, cycling. Mm. Um, therapy. I'm not sure what exactly they meant by that, but probably some stretching mm-hmm. in 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 water. So many different things you can actually do in water if you're not a very strong swimmer like sure. like myself. And it all helps. Yeah. 음, 물속에서 하는 이 수중 운동이라는 게꼭 수영만 말하는 건 아니고요. 물속에서 걷기, 물속에서 이제 사이클링 하듯이 이렇게 다리 움직이기 이런 것도 다 포함입니다. 그게 관절염 환자에게 도움이 많이 되는데 특히 60세 이상에게는 많은 도움이 되더라라는 얘기예요. Another interesting thing about this research was that they found that people um, in their 60s or above they begin to have negative thoughts about mm. aging and their health and then because of those negative thoughts they tend to not exercise as much get depressed get down yeah. right and then you you fall into this vicious cycle mm. so now researchers are saying get out there even if you're just treading water or just walking in water Move. And move because then you will actually get a little bit healthier, and then you'll want to move more, and then you'll get into this virtuous cycle. Well, that's one of those things. Like yeah. our 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 joints need to be exercised. Yeah. Just yeah. like I I I watch some videos on it. And what one guy says, it's like brushing your teeth, always mm. moving all your joints. So I try oh. to go through a little flow every day. Right. Moving all the major joints. Mm. Joints라는 얘기를 지금 계속 많이 쓰시는데요. 그걸 이제 관절이라고 보면 되겠죠. I've always been afraid to get arthritis in my knees because I've really? had knee injuries. When you have, when you've had injuries, you can get arthritis easier. So mm. that's why I try to like stretch and do squats and things like that. Mm. Arthritis가 관절염입니다. 아, 레이 선생님도 걱정을 하시는군요. My grandfather had it, and it's definitely Did painful. He? Yeah. I see. Okay, let's have a look at the main vocabulary. You briefly mentioned it earlier on, but mm-hmm. aquatic exercise. Right, swimming, walking, yeah. cycling. Yeah. Some type of exercise in water. That's right. So aquarium is another word with the word aqua in yeah. it. Anything to do with water has mm. aqua. 자, 물과 관련된 것이 이제 아쿠아가 들어가는데요. Aquatic exercise는 물에서 하는 운동이 되겠습니다. Alleviating pain. Reducing something, yeah. making mm. it less severe. So normally we take medicine to try and alleviate any pain that we have. Of course. 자, alleviate하고 pain이 종종 같이 붙여, 붙어 다니는데요. 이때는 통증을 완화한다라는 의미로 많이 씁니다. All right. Well, here it is one more time. A recent study conducted by Cornell University's School of Medicine reveals the benefits of aquatic exercise for arthritis patients, particularly those over 60, as it alleviates joint pain and stiffness due to the buoyancy of water.